sword and shield. With each season to come in Super Mega Champions, the game has become overall faster, making mobility an increasingly important factor in battle. The few slow tank mecha that remain prevalent hold their own against these more agile mecha through sheer firepower. That is, apart from today's mech. Pushing forward into battle, Northern Knight offers a different tale to tell. Knight's primary triple heavy artillery fires off three projectiles in a horizontal pattern, the primary shot in the middle deals more damage, while the two secondary shots on both sides deal lesser damage. Due to how spread out the shots are, his effective range is around mid-range. Landing all three of your projectiles for full effect delivers around 260 damage, so you'll need to be pretty close to the enemy to pull this off easier. With a relatively high fire rate, the damage adds up quickly, but not quickly enough that you'll want to take on mecha that specialize in DPS, such as Trio in a straight fight. While mecha are outside this ideal range, the widespread and horizontal pattern makes this weapon perfect for tagging running enemies without the need for pinpoint accuracy. Knight's primary is a great stave tool from mid to long range, finishing enemies off up close when their health is low. Complementing his already versatile primary weapon, his core skill up next is arguably Northern Knight's greatest asset. Pressing E will cause Knight to enter defending state. In this state, Knight's shield will block oncoming frontal damage at the cost of reduced accuracy. Knight can still fire his primary weapon in this state, enabling Knight to send out free damage to foes, all while protected by his shield. You aren't completely protected despite this. Attacks from behind and significantly steep angles from above will reach around the shield and deal direct damage to Knight himself. Guard diligently with this in mind to reduce as much damage as possible. Another ability of his coming up later in the video helps with these aspects specifically. While inactive, the shield will recover durability after a short delay. This delay is even longer if your shield shatters upon dropping to zero durability also, so try to avoid that when possible. As the shield takes damage, the shield's HP bar on the left will decrease. When this happens, the light fan's energy bar on the bottom will increase. With all that light fan energy stored up, it's time to send all that damage flying back at the enemy. Knight's secondary light fan throw allows Knight to remove the fan from his shield, hurling it at his enemies for critical effect. Any amount of light fan energy stored up will deal additional damage. Even just half a bar of light fan energy is enough to deal considerable damage. So when you find the opportunity, don't be afraid to send out your fan early to apply pressure to your opponents. Just when the enemy thinks they have you with your shield broken, you can send out your fan dealing over 600 damage instantly. With potential to turn the tables on enemies in a pinch, Light Fan is yet another valuable asset to Knight's kit. There are a couple drawbacks to watch out for. The initial velocity of your Light Fan is slow, and the farther the fan flies, the greater the damage falloff is. In those cases, I'll be covering one module that eliminates all these downsides later in the video. Press the Shift key to activate Shield Charge, propelling Knight forward with a semi-controllable dash. North will block any incoming attacks from the front with a shield during this attack. The initial distance of the charge is best suited for short-range repositioning and gaining a height advantage over other players. During your charge, a set amount of your shield HP will be recovered if not already full. Making contact with the enemy mecha during the charge will stop Knight in his place, dealing lesser damage in the small AoE in front of you. Otherwise, you can always hit the shift key again during a charge to cancel this AoE early. Recovering around 250 shield HP and dealing around 330 damage on impact 
you gain a net 550 points of advantage over your opponent. This can leave even experienced players surprised at suddenly having the tables turned on them in an instant. There are a lot of ways to play with this one move and too many situations to cover, so I'll leave that for you to discover on your own. His jump is a high jump, allowing Knight to reach smaller ledges easily. The Heavy Mag module increases the clip capacity of your primary. This module is best suited for playstyles emphasizing North's primary as a continuous zoning tool. Efficient charging increases the speed at which your energy bar increases. Northern Knight features high shield HP, but since DPS mecha can burn through it pretty fast, you usually need as much shield HP as you can get. If you're able to manage your primary weapon ammo, efficient charging will keep you alive longer to poke enemies and distract enemy teams. Reforged Shield increases your shield HP, while Armor Conduction converts a portion of your mech durability into additional shields. Both options are viable, and which module is best suited for you depends on your playstyle. Reforged Shield will be the easier and most consistent module to run with. You can't really go wrong with extra shield HP, as it's the main part of Knight's kit that keeps him alive. Coupled with efficient charging, this combo is probably the best bet if you're planning to take on DPS mecha. Overall, this complements playstyles with an emphasis on Knight's primary and core 2. Having extra shielding with armor conduction allows you to survive for longer while your shield HP is depleted. The ability to tank extra damage while your shield HP is recharging can serve to be the ace up your sleeve. Adding on top of that, skipping the movement penalty from Knight's shielding state means you can push up on enemies more confidently. In normal state, you also gain the benefit of North's full jump height, helping you further reduce the damage taken while guarding. In the case of armor conduction, this module better complements Knight's secondary on Core 1. Due to high DPS mecha in teams, I would recommend the Reforged Shield as the most consistent option. Against better teams with superior ability to zone just as well as you, you won't always be able to push solo the way other mechas such as Hot Steel and Trio can. Hydraulic Improvements increases Knight's movement speed and jump height while your shield is active. This overall helps you push up for position against enemies more easily, while reserving some of your shield HP by dodging more attacks in theory. In practice, many players with better aim and high velocity projectiles will be able to track and burst down your shield regardless. So aside from that, the best use of the module is the close range repositioning while fighting enemies in close combat, similar to Ventoris' Core 2 module. If you have Core 1 available, hydraulic movement is a little more viable since the module does make pop shots easier to pull off. Assault Jet increases the damage traveled with your dash, granting a myriad of benefits across the board. This is almost definitely the best option for North as a result. The increased mobility greatly enhances Knight's escape and reposition potential in a pinch. This also means better chase ability, allowing you to harass enemies more consistently. More importantly, Assault Jet turns the dash into a budget version of Hot Steel's explosive charge. This gives you extra time to decide where you want to go, even giving you a better chance to dodge attacks. All this giving you additional juke potential and ways to outplay your opponent. Otherwise, the active time of his dash can often be too short to take advantage of the shield bash in most cases. In general, I heavily recommend defaulting to a Soul Jet for your mobility module. Core 1, powerful throwing set, increases damage, flight velocity, and impact radius for your secondary. In other words, Core 1 eliminates the original damage drop-off of your light fan while dealing additional damage. This vastly increases your effective range, allowing you to do more than just poke and zone in early teamfights. You can tag mobile enemies with ease with your light fan due to the increased flight speed and bigger hitbox of the fan. The hitbox of your fan is so large, you can even deal heavy damage to enemies peeking around corners. Effectively, Core 1 makes Knight one of the best counters to mecha that excel at poke play, such as Gabriel and Aurora. High Chamber Pressure Set increases the damage from your primary as your shield durability lowers, for a maximum of 20% increased attack power. To take advantage of this, you'll want to be right up close to the enemy, you can also use the damage buff to pen enemies harder, but Knight's primary damage at range is still too unreliable to take full advantage of this. Against mecha you can afford to get up close to, Core 2 can really hurt. In a nutshell, Core 2 is best used for finishing off opponents up close, while Core 1 is more viable and consistent in most situations. The module loadout I recommend consists of Efficient Charging, Reforged Shield, and Assault Jet. This loadout focuses on shield play, with tactical movement capitalizing on Knight's enhanced dash. My second module loadout switches out Assault Jet for Hydraulic Improvements. Hydraulic Improvements does have its uses against mecha with slower projectiles and AoE, 
The benefits of the module do lack for the most part without a core module, but the results are decent with Core 2 and great with Core 1. When they want to go for a mobile build for solos, I run efficient charging, armor conduction, and assault jet. If you can manage your shield durability well, this build allows you to better use your mecha shields as an extension of your shield HP. When playing with this build, I would essentially switch between using my shield HP and mech shields so that I can continuously tank damage. This build can find success at times, but this playstyle can be countered by DPS mecha, being focused by multiple enemies, and enemies poking for damage through your shield cooldown. Essentially, you want to use your shield durability to get in close to your enemy, then use your mech shield to tank damage as you finish off your opponents. This time around, I have 3 attack and mobility tech builds for you. My attack movement build uses Assault Program, Bombardment Chip, and Improved Chamber for its attack modules. For mobility modules, I run Quick Cooldown Plan, Efficient Transmission, and Concurrent Power Supply. This build focuses on bolstering a high fire rate, allowing for better pressure and finishing off enemies faster. The reduced dash cooldown makes controlling the situation easier, while the increased movement speed helps alleviate the movement speed reduction while your shield is up. Secondary Push uses Involved Chamber, Optimal Reloading, and Rapid Mag for the attack modules. The mobility modules this time are Quick Cooldown Plan, Self-Healing Liner, and First Response Unit. Secondary Push gives you a balance of higher secondary reduction and increased primary fire rate. This allows you to deal considerable damage at mid to long range, further opening up options on the fly. With the damage you'll be dealing with your light fan, and damage you'll be blocking with your shield, the added life drain will force enemies to work even harder to take you down quickly. Neo Knight's attack modules are Bombardment Chip, Improved Chamber, and Rapid Mag. For mobility mods, we have Quick Cooldown Plan, Self Healing Liner, and Engine Boost. This loadout features the most balanced attack modules out of the three. The mobility modules also give you a healthy cocktail of offensive and defensive buffs that feed into everything in this build. For those who want to perform competently in every area, this is the build for you. Neo Knight is a versatile loadout, offering strong offensive, defensive, and evasive options. Once you've mastered Knight's moveset and cooldowns, I highly recommend this build. Of course, feel free to mix and match these builds as they fit to your playstyle. The mecha skills I recommend are Hive Infrastructure, Gravity Amplifier, Combat Troll, and Quick Shield Charge. Hive Infrastructure is a solid pick for mecha with 3000 and below collective HP. In the case of Northern Knight, you will have around 3100 HP before factoring in shield durability. Gravity Amplifier is a great choice for builds running armor conduction when slower stamina play is available. Combat Control is a great option to keep you mobile more often, while constantly recharging your shield. Quick Shield Charge is alright, though the margin of error is slim. Still, it does help you recover shields more consistently while tanking damage with your shield. And of course, Lightning Mantra works well with any mech. As for magic stones, I recommend Air, Earth, and Curse. As a mech with various cooldowns, a 12% cooldown reduction will give you a massive boost to your overall moveset. Earth is a good cover when making up for most mecha, and Knight's Shield adds to this, continuing to shield mecha after the initial shielding when spawning your mech. Curse Stone is a great option to outstamina your opponents. While tanking with your mech shields and shield, you can passively gain back HP, making it that much harder for enemies to wear you down. Advanced Tactics To start things off, here's a big tip not nearly enough knight players are taking advantage of. Knight Shield will block one full projectile if it has any amount of HP left. This means that you can block a 250 damage Arthur Slash with just one shield HP for example. Knight's primary is pretty lacking at mid to far range, but up close the damage is pretty strong if you can manage to land all three projectiles. Even so, don't be afraid to use your high fire rate to your advantage. Knight's Primary is a great tool to pressure and zone your opponents at a range, using your shield as cover for free chip damage. The next technique uses Secondary Weapon Cancelling, or Secondary Cancelling for short. The main form of Secondary Cancelling is to hold your Secondary Weapon button to cancel an animation, then press the Cancel key to reset your mecha if needed. Using this technique as you switch into Defense Mode will allow you to continue firing your primary weapon just a bit faster. If you've played Northern Knight, you're bound to have had those moments where your shield draw is just a millisecond too slow to block an incoming attack. The secondary cancel technique allows you to bring out your shield as fast as you can hold right click, essentially. From here, you can chain into a fan throw or cancel again to continue pelting the enemy with your primary. Another great use is to cancel Knight's reload animation so you can reload without any movement penalties. So take this tip and keep your Turtle Knight as mobile as possible.
Once you get this technique down, you can even learn to switch forms and reload into a secondary cancel seamlessly. That's a lot to take in, and I'll try to give you guys a few usage examples throughout the video. But from here, I'll let you experiment with secondary cancelling to find which applications of the technique work best for you. Just because you have your secondary available doesn't always mean you should throw it right away. North is one of the most unpredictable pressure mecha in the game. Manage your shield HP and manage your light fans well enough, and you can often bait the enemy into wasting their dashes simply by fainting your secondary. With Northern Knight, you want to treat your shield HP like another fuel gauge. As your shield HP lowers, your options lower also if not used strategically. Ideally, you want to keep around half your shield HP available. Even just half your shield's durability converts to enough light fan energy for your light fan to hurt. Press the primary and secondary weapon buttons in quick succession to minimize the throw animation for your secondary. This lessens the telegraph of your light fan, giving your opponent less time to react to your attack. Northern Knight is best described as a controller debilitator mech, controlling the battlefield while setting up foes for failure. Knight's secondary roles include tank, infantry, and distraction. Players familiar with Hot Steel, Doomlight, Skylark, Boltus, and Arthur will have an easier time adjusting to Northern Knight. If you enjoy taking control of the battlefield, Northern Knight is the mech for you. And with that, that's everything I have to say for this one. I'll see all of you in the next video. Um, yeah. Also, check out my new Twitch channel. I, I made it recently, I've been streaming there a lot.